Hello everyone. Well, I'm so anxious to open this vacuum cleaner that came very early this morning. Um, I haven't even bothered matching my socks to the cleaner. I've just got the socks that I put on after my morning shower and I've just got this burgundy t-shirt on. So if anything matches this vacuum cleaner, it's completely coincidental. Now obviously it's not going to be, I don't think, a pneumatic George in here. I've already unboxed the pneumatic George, you won't want to see me doing it again. So I'm hoping this is the shark canister vacuum that's come from Ryan. He's addressed it to me at Ibasiac Productions. So let's have a look. Now I knew about this vacuum. This was on eBay a while ago and I wasn't into shark really then. And I was put off by it because this canister model, when it was sold on eBay, was not even available in the United States. And I thought, well, how have they got hold of that? So I didn't bid on this, and I think the seller had a couple of other sharks as well. And I didn't go for it. Oh, I think Ryan has sprayed it with some, <laughs> with some aftershave. Well, he must have seen my videos where I complain about the smell of vacuums. You've been very liberal with the aftershave, Ryan. Let's hope it's not Lynx. He's scented it, bless him. If that apps <laughs> I know what you smell like, Ryan. Right, Ryan has his own channel. U5... Oh, what is it, Ryan? Is it U5080 or U5096? Here's a picture of Ryan. You'll, you'll have seen him. He doesn't speak much. I've only seen him speak, or heard him speak, once. Um, he just normally shows his vacuums uh, a strong silent type. Well, he's put a lot of bubble wrap on. I thought I thought it would be well packed. I don't think, I mean, I'm, it's early days in the unboxing, but I don't think I'll be disappointed with this one. He took some good photos. Here we have the extension wand. I didn't realise it was, it was white. Now this, apparently, was a pre-production model. Ah, oh, it's gone a bit. That's a shame. Doesn't, I'm not bothered, but that's not Ryan's fault. It's got a sort of a white painted finish and it's obviously got a bit worn from being extended. That's not going to, that's actually the paint coming off, I think. Well, it might not be. I don't know if it'll come off. I'm just glad to get hold of one. You can buy the um, Shark Canister in America, but you can't actually get it in the UK officially. So I believe Shark did actually see Ryan's video. Ryan did a video of this on his channel. And he, um, he showed it on his uh, green rug and doing his stairs. Here's the pet, pet hair power brush. And when Shark saw this, they wanted it back apparently. But obviously Ryan, for some reason, didn't give it to them. Shark were going to um, offer him another vacuum in exchange for this and said, oh, why, how have you got that sort of thing? But obviously Ryan must have kept it, which is why I have managed to get my hands on it so Shark won't want this back now because obviously it's now officially launched. It's been in the, U uh, in the USA for a while, this, or a similar model. So I don't think it's a great secret. But what I would like is for Shark to launch this officially in the UK. Because I would still get it. It's very nice and clean. Thank you, Ryan. So this... Oh, it doesn't... Oh, it does flex. It does flex. This looks very like the head of my... Um, lift away... Not lift away. What's it called? That stick back I've got. My rocket. My rocket stick. The first proper shark I think I bought. I wonder if they're interchangeable. I'm not sure. It's probably different uh, fitting. So he's cleaned it up for me. So there we go, that's the power head. It's, it, it almost looks brand new. Oh, there's a little bit of something rattling about in there. I know it's been used, so I'm not uh, bothered about that. I'll get my... Uh, that, that always gets dirty, that part. It's very difficult to clean. So there's the power head. It seems, yes, it's a smaller head. It, it is the same sort of width as the power head of the rocket. But it'd be nice to uh, have a power head, a full-sized vacuum, but with a compact power head. Here's the hose, looks a reasonable 
length. Um, so that's where it connects to the vacuum. You've got a nice little button to release it. And here's the handle. Whoops. Oh yes, it is a nice. It's, I think it's longer than 1.5 meters. It's just maybe a 1.8 meter hose. Here's the handle with the on-off. And you've got a little suction release trigger there. Ah, so that's full suction. It's a bit hard to see, but it's a little plus. And that's minus. That's probably where the air enters the hose when you flick that switch. So I like a bit of a suction control, even though it's like a maximum minimum. It is always useful, especially when you're cleaning maybe a doormats or a lightweight rug. It's good to be able to lower the suction. We can also use this on hard floors. This is obviously the power head on off button, so off for hard floors, on for carpets. That's nice. Now this doesn't come with any sort of dust away hard floor head. I wasn't expecting it to. I think the official version will in the USA and if they launch this in the UK I'm hoping they will also bring out the um, dust away head with it. Right. So far so good. I'm still getting the uh, very pleasant smell. Uh, right, let me just... Now this will have... I'll show you it in a minute. Let me just check there's nothing else in the box. So thank you Ryan, that's very well packed. It's nice to see. Because Ryan's a collector and he understands the frustration, I'm sure, of receiving a vacuum through the post that's damaged. Let's cut this off. Now, I think this has got a white plug on from the pictures, which, yes it does. So I'm going to actually swap this. It's a perfectly good plug. And I, I expect it's been wired correctly. I'll trust Ryan. Um, I'm not sure if he put it on, actually. It was the seller. But it's been... At least they put the cord grip on right. I'm going to actually change this for a black plug. So I just think it would tone in better with the black of the machine. Got quite a nice cable on it, so it's good quality flexible cable. So obviously if this was an official model this would have had a moulded on plug, not this. So for some, it was a sort of a pre-production -pre um, example. So in the UK this is pretty rare at the moment and even if it is launched officially in the UK it won't be probably exactly like this, they might change the colours. This has got the original sort of shark burnt orange that my rocket has. So here it is. It's slightly larger than I expected, but it's not huge. So I'm really, really pleased. Nobody else bid on it for some reason. Ryan's made a little bit of profit on this, because I do know how much he paid for it originally. He put a, a little thread on vacuum land about this shark. And I didn't go for it at the time, and I do. I regretted it. I thought, oh, that's a nice smooth running wheel. Look at that. I did regret not getting it afterwards, when obviously when Ryan did the video and showed the pictures, I thought, no, oh, I should have gone for that. But I was glad to get the opportunity, and it's only, strangely, I just happened to go on eBay about an hour before this was due to finish, and I hadn't noticed it before. So I was really pleased. I think it was fate that I actually got this again. Now, let's pop it down and I will uh, pull out the flex and I'll have a bit of a close look. Obviously, there's no instruction book with this because, well, it didn't come with one. I think I'll be able to work it out. If I'm that desperate to see what the instructions are, I'm sure I can read the instructions online won't plug it in just yet, so I'll just reposition my camera and we'll have a bit of a closer look at the vacuum itself. Okay, so yes, I'm very happy. I'm sure it'll work when I switch it on. It's in very, very little used condition. So let's see, dust, cup release. There we go. So uh, here's the dust cup. Let's move the, well, it's got a filter filter at the back there. Here's the dust cup. 
It's very typically shark, the cyclonic system of this. Exactly what you'd expect from shark. I'm very pleased with it. Thank you, Ryan, again. So there we go, you can obviously empty it out of both sides. If any debris gets caught up in this part, you can open the top to empty that. Oops, excuse my camera, there we go. So that's fantastic. So as I said, I am um, hoping that this will be launched officially, maybe next year. I know Shark have expanded rapidly in the UK and they do some, as you know, I, I, they do some very good cleaners. I am, I'm very impressed with Shark as a brand. They're really, really making inroads now into the UK market. So it would be nice to see this officially and I'll still get it, of course, even though I've got this one, I would like the official one too. So that comes off. Some hints and tips about loss of suction. So again, similar filter. It's all the, sa all the same type of filter system. They may change shape and size, but it's the same sort of thing. You've got the initial metal mesh inside the bin. You've got the th thick foam pad. That's the point. I hope I can get, uh, if they don't officially launch this in the UK, I'll have to see if I can get these from America if I want a couple of spares. So there's the easy to wash sponge filter. That's obviously been washed. Thank you, Ryan. It's so nice to open a vacuum that's not smelling of the farmyard or not covered in naughty things. That's your other filter. So behind that we have the fan. Now what I've decided, this is hot off the press. I'm recording this the day before. I've decided I'm going to put this on YouTube tomorrow. I will be away next week and I was hoping tomorrow to give you, oh wrong thing, getting all it. This is quite exciting me. You know I, I have said recently that I've been a bit bored with vacuum cleaner unboxings of late but this is a bit different and uh, I'm looking forward to turning it on. Um, yes so what I'm doing for you next week, well there will be an, a, an extra video on Saturday, tomorrow Saturday the 2nd of September, so this is hot off the presses, this is the 1st of September 2016. So on the 2nd I'll be putting a little extra video, it's already been on my channel but this particular video is hidden, well, it's, it's in another video, so if you haven't watched a certain video you won't have seen this little clip, it's just a 2 minute, 3 minute clip and you'll know why I've put that on, especially if you live in the UK. Next week from Monday Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I think Sunday. Let me check. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes. So Monday to Sunday next week, there will be a video every day. But that's, that will be of interest to you if you've asked for the shout out or question, because I've had to take seven videos, I can you believe it, to respond to the questions. Obviously, I've prattled on a bit, but... Um, Here's the base anyway. Oh yes, that's that's reminded me. Whoops. Oh, oh, I pressed, oh dear. I didn't want to press that. I, I accidentally pressed the release. That's reminded me that underneath are the tools. That's a big, um, well that's a nice um, sort of a rubbery, it's a very wide wheel. That's a good action. That's a big wheel. That'll go over thresholds easily. And we've got the two large rear wheels. There's obviously no rating plate or anything. We don't know the wattage, don't know anything about it because as I say, it, uh, we're not sure how it came into the UK. Uh, yes, so from Sunday, sorry, no, from Monday to the following Sunday, I'll be doing my responses. So if you've asked a question or a shout out, you will get a response. It's taken me, here's the exhaust hepper, that'll be washable. And I can just about see, there's a motor behind there. So yes, tune in next week, every day next week from Monday, it's just shout out responses. But even if you haven't asked for a shout out, hopefully you might find it interesting because I do answer a lot of questions and I also illustrate the videos with pictures, so if somebody's asked me a question about a particular vacuum and you're not really sure what that vacuum looks like, then I've put a picture, in most cases I've put a picture up. And I've also tried to make it funny in places, so 
there's odd little illustrations that pop up that uh, hopefully make you, will make you chuckle. So you can just listen to my voice if you want to in the background while you're getting on with more important things, but if you actually sit and watch the videos, you might get a little bit more out of them. You might, you might not. So there we go. All right, I must say, Ryan, I'll have to... Uh, please, Ryan, comment. What is that smell you have sprayed this? <laughs> yeah, I can smell. This is very pleasant. Very nice smell. I wonder if the vacuum's going to smell of it. Okay. Oh, yes, right. Before I uh, attach the hose, this is a little foot pedal, which you press to release the motor unit to make it more compact. Now, see, this is why I like Shark. There's so many little innovations in Shark products that you don't get with other makes. So this makes it much more convenient, a little bit more compact for doing your stairs, also taking out to the car. It's obviously a full-size cylinder, but you can easily put that on your back seat while you're cleaning the rest of your car. So that's that. And this is the Caddy. It does actually add quite a bit of weight on its own. So that's, you know, it's still, it's not an ultra light cleaner. So here's the Caddy with the two cleaning tools. So a bit of a short crevice tool. And you've got a dusting brush, a little bit stiff, but not too bad. You can adjust that. Nice bit of shark branding there. Anyway, if anyone from Shark's watching, I do know they, uh, I think they follow my channel and things. You're not having it. I'm having, I'm keeping it. I don't think Shark will mind me having this because as I said, it's now officially available and has been for quite some time or a very similar model to this. It's available in the USA, so. But I'm wondering who, I'm um, wondering if it's, it was a Shark employee. I believe Shark are based in Wakefield in the UK, which is very near where I live. So, there's the hose plugged in. It comes out quite high, which is quite good, I think. It's not sort of low down, so... Um, oh, also, show you on the back, didn't show you. You've got your mains on-off switch, so the, the controls on the handle, they just turn the power head on, or, on and off. You still have to use the power button on the machine to switch the cleaner on itself. Then you've got, of course, your auto flex rewind. Let's uh, connect the extension wand. So it'll be a nice click action, I expect. Click, lovely, lovely, jubbly. And there we go, let's put on the power head. So I don't know why Ryan decided, I think he's uh, starting to run out of space. So he was selling a few of his cleaners. I'm, I mean, I know how that feels <laughs> to be running out of space. I have started looking at the cost of um, a storage unit, but then I think, well, I'd, I'd rather not have to pay out money every month. I'd rather start getting rid of some myself. But this is certainly one I'm not going to get rid of, that's for sure. Okie dokie, let's plug her in and uh, I'm sure it'll work fine. But we'll just uh, do a quick demo and then that'll be it for today. I've just had a quick preview of this shark and um, it's relatively quiet. We, of course, we don't know the wattage of this. This is possibly a higher wattage than will be officially, if it is launched in the UK and Europe, it might be a higher wattage this machine to what will be officially launched. I've just done the old test, you know, the unscientific. That's quite a nice wide, um, a wide diameter actually there. Um, it's got a good suck to it. That, that is very, very good. That's certainly, I would say, that's stronger suction than the um, powered lift away upright which of course is a lower wattage but I like now what I don't like you can get power hose cleaners that have a rotating hose but that doesn't rotate at all either end obviously this contains wires that power the powered head but some of the ones I've had in the past that have had rotating hose ends that have been powered are prone to failure 
What also I like about this is that even when the power head's not on, because of course you can use the power head with the brushes off for hard floors, but even when the power head isn't rotating, the lights, the LED lights, still illuminate. Which I like that feature. That's also the same on the powered lift away upright. So here we go. Let's see how far this extends actually. That's, that's, uh, wow. You can be very tall and you not suffer any stooping with this. That is, that goes up very far, but that's far too much for me. Let's lower it down a bit. Just a shame, the white, obviously pre-production model or, or sample, the white doesn't quite go. I have a feeling that on an official version, this wouldn't be white. It would probably be, you know, the silver colour. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's give a go at the power head. So I'll turn it on and then switch the power head on. Oh, that's odd. I wonder why that is. It's a little blue. Oh, it's, it's fading. The little blue brush roll indicator light took a while to actually turn off. It was a very slow fade. So, all in all, yes, very good. Very good vacuum. So, if you're watching Shark UK, are you going to be launching this or? at least the official version. I would love to see this in the UK. I'll certainly buy it, and uh, judging by my initial reaction, I'm sure other people will buy it, especially if you're going to offer a power head, because power head vacuum cleaners in the UK are very thin on the ground. So it would be nice, a couple of models, maybe one for people with mainly hard floors, maybe just do a cheaper version with maybe your dust away attachment or another hard floor attachment and um, possibly a regular head if you've got rugs and things and uh, offer this for people with more carpeting but uh, yes I really like it I'm so pleased that I saw it I think it was fate that made me go on eBay let's see if that stands on its own while I grab the plug And we'll just check on the auto flex rewind. Again, that the quality of the, the cable is good. It seems it's a very flexible cable. Oops. So that's nice. It's a nice smooth rewind, not too fast. But yes, just it's just a little thing, but I'm going to I'm going to pop a black plug on. Because that does look a bit out of place having a white plug on that. Either a black or one of those see-through ones, actually. Yes, I might get one of the clear ones. They look quite snazzy. So I'll put a new plug on that. But all in all, that is great. Thank you once again, Ryan. That's one second-hand vacuum that I'm certainly not regretting buying. Excellent. I'll enjoy playing with that later today. Got lots of cleaning to do today, so I'll be uh, giving this shark a good going over. Ah, one, just one last thing. I will check. I just want to see if we can attach the power head directly to the handle end. I hope so because then I can clean my stairs very well. Obviously I can use the turbo brush. Just quickly show you that. Don't want you to think I've not shown you everything. Oh, hang on a minute. Just have to plug it in again, won't I? Never mind. I'm so excited. See, I'm excited about a vacuum. Some vacuums I've unboxed recently have been, ooh, another vacuum cleaner, but this one, a little bit exciting for me. Right, here we go. That's noisy, but the suction on this is tremendous. That's, um, that's going to do a very good job getting rid of Daisy's hair especially. Let's just quickly check, I think it will. 
Oh, yes, is it? Perfect. That is excellent. I'm just wondering, I don't know if any of my other shark tools will fit this. I'm not really sure. I'm not, not concerned if they don't, but let's just uh, try this. <laughs> Yep, that's all fantastic, brilliant. Right, there we go, I think I've shown you everything I can show you. I'll be doing a proper demo with this. But if you want to see this in, in action again, you can check out Ryan's initial video when he got this. He was very impressed with it, so I'm a bit surprised that he decided to get rid of this, but uh, he's obviously decided that he'd like to keep some other vacuums more than this one and anyway if he decides one day he's got some more room and he thinks he'd like to try this again I'm sure well fingers crossed this will be available in the UK hopefully next year so that's great thanks for watching don't forget all next week you've got seven days of Ibasiac can you cope probably not but I hope you enjoy those videos. As I said, even if you've not asked for a shout out, I think you might find them quite interesting and hopefully a little bit funny. I'm hoping. If you've asked a question and you've asked a shout out, I don't think I've missed anyone out. I hope I haven't. Even some of the people that uh, put wait a bit past the deadline, I've managed to squeeze them in. But no more requests now, I'm afraid, until next year when I do another shout out request because they have taken me a long time. Um, to actually edit and do, you know, actually doing them didn't take long but it was after I'd done them. In order to make them a bit more visually interesting for you, that's what's taken the time. But I've really enjoyed it, I've had some good questions, so um, hopefully you'll find those seven videos interesting. And then next week we'll be back to normal with uh, some more demonstrations and possibly another unboxing. So from today, thank you once again, Ryan. Check out Ryan's channel and uh, you'll see this in action, plus a lot of other vintage vacuum cleaners. Um, you can see those being demonstrated on Ryan's channel. Uh, I, think it, I think it's U5096, isn't it, Ryan? It's not U5080. I think it's U5096, which obviously is a Hoover Turbomaster model. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Ryan, Ryan's videos anyway. So that's it. Tune in tomorrow on Saturday for an extra little video and then from Monday to Sunday you've got seven days of iBasiac. So until then I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.